In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate related rates using the Pythagorean Theorem. So here we have a 10-foot ladder that is leaning against a wall so that it reaches a height of 8 feet above the ground. And if we grab the bottom of the ladder and begin pulling it away from the wall at a rate of 2 feet per second, then how fast will the ladder's height above the ground begin to decrease? Alright, so we've got a diagram here. It's really just a triangle. The ladder is the hypotenuse, 10 feet long. And let's label the ladder's height above the ground with h. That's just the vertical distance from the ground to the top of the ladder. Now what we're trying to find is we're trying to find dh dt, the rate of change of the ladder's height above ground. So what is that equal to? Well, before we get too deep into that, let's think about what other information is given in the problem. We're told that we grab the bottom of the ladder and begin pulling it away from the wall at a rate of 2 feet per second. So let's label the part of the triangle that corresponds to the distance between the bottom of the ladder and the wall. Let's call that B. And we'll say that dB dt, well, that's equal to the rate of change of the length of the bottom of the ladder from the wall. And if we're pulling this bottom of the ladder away from the wall at 2 feet per second, then the length is increasing at a rate of 2 feet per second. So dB dt equals 2. Okay, so now look back to dH dt. And like we usually do, we're going to want to pull that apart into dh over something times something over dt. And since we know what db dt is, we should probably choose db to go in the blanks. So all that's left is to figure out what is dh db. And we can figure that out if we can construct an equation containing h and b. All right, so think. H and B are two legs of this triangle, it's a right triangle, and we know the hypotenuse. Why don't we just use the Pythagorean Theorem? For this triangle, Pythagorean Theorem states that B squared plus H squared is equal to 10 squared. Leg squared plus leg squared equals hypotenuse squared. We want to find DH, DB, so let's just go ahead and differentiate both sides with respect to B. So derivative with respect to b of b squared plus h squared is equal to derivative with respect to b of 10 squared. Now derivative of b squared is just 2b and then derivative of h squared is 2h but since the h and the b in the derivative don't match up, we have to use the chain rule, which involves multiplying by dh db afterwards. And then the right-hand side, derivative of a constant is always zero. So that means we can solve for dh db here. So let's write that, 2h dh db is equal to, just subtract off that 2b, so minus 2b, and then divide by 2h, to get dh db equals negative 2b over 2h, which means that dh db is equal to negative b over h. And so that's what we can put in for dh db, and 2 is what we can put in for db dt. So then we have that dh dt is equal to negative b over h times 2, or more simply, just negative 2b over h. Okay, but we're not done yet. We want to find the particular value of this derivative right at the moment when we start pulling away the ladder. At this moment, the height is 8 feet, so that's what we can substitute in for h here. But what about the base? We still need to substitute the base in here. But hey, that's pretty simple to compute. We can just use the Pythagorean Theorem. We know what h is, so we can solve for b. Let's write it out over here. So b squared plus h squared, well h is 8 in this case, so b squared plus 8 squared equals 10 squared. So b squared plus 64 equals 100, which means b squared equals 36, which means b equals 6. So let's go ahead and sub in those values. dh dt, right at the beginning, when we start pulling away the ladder, it's negative 2 times b, b equals 6, 
and then that's over h, and h is 8. So this is equal to negative 12 over 8, or negative 1.5. And what's the units here? Units are units of length, and length is in feet. But it's the rate of change of length with respect to time, so feet per second. Now there's actually one last thing. The last thing to notice is that the question asked, how fast will the height begin to decrease? So it's already supposing the height is decreasing and asking how fast is it decreasing? So our answer should really be a positive result. You wouldn't say it decreases by negative 1.5 feet per second. You would say it decreases by just 1.5 feet per second. So there we go. There is our final result. The ladder's height begins to decrease at 1.5 feet per second. All right, on to the next question. A fisherman is standing on a dock while pulling a boat towards himself. He is holding the rope five feet above the height of the boat while pulling the boat at a rate of three feet per second. How fast is the distance between the dock and the boat decreasing when the boat is 12 feet away from the dock? So here's our setup here, it's just a triangle. The boat is on this side, the rope is the hypotenuse, and you can see that the rope is elevated five feet from the top of the boat where the fisherman is pulling. So what is it we want to find? Well, we want to find the rate of change of the distance between the dock and the boat. So if this is the boat, this is the dock, then the base of the triangle is the distance. Why don't we call that B? And what we want to find is, we want to find DB, DT. The rate of change of the distance between the dock and the boat with respect to time. Now, before we get into that, is there any other information that's given in the problem? Well, we're told that we're pulling in the boat at a rate of 3 feet per second. So the rope is disappearing at a rate of 3 feet per second. The rope is the hypotenuse of this triangle, why don't we call it R. And so if R is getting shorter by 3 feet per second, we can say that dr dt is equal to negative 3. Alright, so back to our derivative db dt. We can break that up. Let's write db over something times something over dt. And since we know what dr dt is, that's a very strong indicator that we should fill in the blank with dr. So now we know dr dt, and it just remains to find what is db dr. Now we can find db dr if we can construct a relationship between b and r, and that relationship, just like last time, it'll be the Pythagorean theorem. b squared plus 5 squared is equal to r squared. And we want db dr, so let's differentiate that with respect to r. So d over dr of the left hand side, b squared plus 5 squared is equal to d over dr of r squared. All right, so differentiate b squared with respect to r, you get 2b, but then you've got to multiply by db over dr because of the chain rule. And then the 5 squared, that's just a constant, so the derivative of that goes to 0, we can ignore it. And on the right hand side, derivative of r squared is just 2r. So that means db dr is equal to 2r over 2b, which is equal to r over b. And that's what we'll sub in for db dr here. So we'll do that and then put in dr dt is negative 3. Let's write that down. So db dt is equal to r over b times negative 3, which simplifies as just negative 3r over b. But wait, we're not done. We want to find the value of db dt, in particular when the boat is 12 feet away from the dock. So db dt when b equals 12. So that means we can just plug in 12 for the bottom for b here. But what about r? What is r when b equals 12? Well, again, we could just use our Pythagorean theorem. Let's write that out over here. So b squared, b is now 12. So 12 squared plus 5 squared equals r squared. So 144 plus 25 equals r squared. So 169 is r squared, and r is the square root of that, which is 13. So that means db 
dt at the moment when b equals 12, this is equal to negative 3 times r, which is 13, divided by b, which is 12. And that comes out to negative 39 over 12. And what's the units? Well, units of b, units of length, which is feet, and then divided by units of t, which is seconds. But again, wait, there's one more thing. The question is asking how fast is the distance decreasing? So it's already supposing the answer is negative. And you wouldn't say it's decreasing by negative 39 over 12 feet per second. Say it's decreasing by 39 over 12 feet per second. So that's our final result. 39 over 12 feet per second. That's how fast the distance between the boat and the dock is decreasing when the boat is 12 feet away from the dock. So now we know how to calculate related rates using the Pythagorean theorem. In the future, we'll continue to gain more practice computing related rates, including in situations where we have to use similar triangles.